Welcome everyone to another video of Maths Heroes where we see, say and write mathematics. This week I had a few uh, questions about some fractions and so on and my niece actually came home uh, struggling to do 8 over 2 as a fraction. So I thought that's what I'll do this week as a video and come back to this picture here which is that old lady, young lady picture and it's that ability to flick our vision and see the old lady and see the young lady that it is to be able to flick between addition and subtraction, multiplication and division. So here's an example of what I mean. So if I've got 120, if I have only taught place value, I see it as 100 plus 20. So here is my expander. I see it as 100 and two tens and zero ones but I need to be able to see it as 12 tens. There it is as 12 tens. There are still zero ones. Yeah, if I was looking at it, this is, this is the picture that I would have. So I would have 120. So 120 is the same as 12 tens. So 10 tens plus two tens is 12 tens. So that's the sort of flick I am trying to encourage my students to make. And the reason this is so important, because if your students can't see one of these, for example, perhaps they can't see this one, they only see this. If I said 120 divided by 6, and we tried to do this divided by 6 and this divided by 6, versus that one divided by six, you can see how difficult that is for students. Because now when I'm trying to do this, right, I'll get to 60, that's 10 groups, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 gets me to 96, so I've got 16. If I'm at 96, I've got four to be shared between six left over. And then if I look at this one, 20 divided by 6, I've got 1, 2, 3, and I've got 2 sixths left over. So 16 plus 3 is 19, 4 sixths plus 2 sixths is 1 whole, 6 sixths. So I've actually got 19 plus 1 more, which is 20. You can see how difficult that is for students who can only think additively. Let's have a look at this one and why it's so much easier for students and why it's so important to teach division. If I have got 12 tens, 12 of anything to share between six, right? So what I can do, all right, if I'm going to share, um, what I can say is, so if I've got 12 of anything to share between 6, the answer is 2. So I can say, well, that is 2. So let me show you what that actually looks like in an answer. So can I do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? Yes, I can. I can do 6 of the group size 2 tens. And 2 times 10 is 20. So you can see how much easier that is for students to understand and actually be able to visualise what's going on. So let's go back to this one. If students even could think of 120 as 60 plus 60, and if I was to divide that by 10, uh, sorry, 6, and divide that by 6, I would still get 10 plus 10, which is 20. But that's that's a lot of thinking for students. And, I, I you know, they may be able to do it, but because I, I know most of my students that I've seen with struggling with maths um, don't see that. Because when I have, um, for example, 2x divided by 2, Right. Students who are thinking x plus x, because they don't actually know how to multiply, can't divide. I know this is a very simple example, but the problem with algebra is usually not with the letters, but it's they don't know how to divide. Whereas if I can see that as two groups of x, whatever it is, divided into two, 
I can say, well, that's the same as one group of x. For example, if I had, um, let me just make a bit of room. So for example, if I've got 12 animals to share between six, so I've got an animal, an animal, an animal, an animal, an animal, an animal, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and I need to make um, six groups, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, right? That means that there is, in each group, there are two animals, right? There's my two, whatever size piece they are. If I had to have 12 animals, in groups of six animals, whatever animal it is, right, you can see now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If I had six animals in each group, I would have two groups. And that's the difference between by how many groups and how many is in each group. So my niece was trying to do. Eight over two. So there's the, a few, the two different ways you can think of it. If you think of this as being halves, right? So one half, two halves, three halves, four halves, five halves, six halves, six halves, seven halves, eight halves. Right? What would that physically look like? One, two. Oh, they're meant to be the same size. Two, three. Let's let's draw them up. So there is one half. There is the second half. Three halves, four halves, five halves, six halves, seven halves, eight halves. So the answer to that is four. And that is exactly the same as doing a division. And that's what our fraction symbol is. So you need to teach students to see it both ways. It is eight halves and it is eight divided by two. So I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask me. Send me an email, get in contact. Love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.